Hello, and welcome to Ubuntu and Open Source. Today we're going to be talking about the clock settings and an applet that we're going to install for the panel called Top Menu for Ubuntu. So this is the stock install of the clock. As you click on it, there's a calendar. But we also can do some custom settings by going here digital clock settings. This is the clock format that's built in. That's all it will show you. The tool is that right there. The tool format. Over here on this here website for uh, official documentation, l documentation, customize the clock, customizing the clock. You can read this and go through this. This is the clock format that shows right here and the tooltip format right here where the, the window that pops up that's a tooltip so here's a simple setup that they give an example of 4 colon 22 p.m. savvy percent I capital colon percent M capital space and the percent p at uh, lowercase and then they give you some more examples and then you go down some more and they show some more advanced things that you can do with my clock settings i have my custom format that i like to use right here so i'm just going to copy and paste them And then for the tooltip format part, copy, paste. Okay, now I'm going to close it. Now I'll see for mine it has a date, the month, the day, year, what's a slash, and then a time, a 12 hour format. But you look at mine, it's different. It has the, the day spelled out, the month spelled out, the day of the month and the year, but then it has a second row. And for mine, that second row is this percent N. That's what creates the second row. Then you can see that my time zone So that's the digital clock in its settings. Now we're going to go to the panel here. Some more things on the panel. If you just right click on the panel anywhere. Just right click anywhere in the panel. And then you can go to panel settings. The panel settings you can move the panel to the right, to the left, or to the top. I prefer to keep mine on the top. The alignment here, you can have it set to the left, to the right, to, I mean to the center, to the right, and by percent it shows the width. Or you can, you know, move it around like that. I like to keep mine in the center, 100%. Here's the appearance. That, uh, right now I'm not doing any theming, just showing you from a clean install panel applets this is where the panel application launcher is this is the one we use to put in word excel and in onenote spacer minimize all windows and there's more applets in here so why are we on the panel preferences here? Over here on this website, how to get a global menu for Zbuntu or Lbuntu 16.04 using top menu. All the way down here, he gives us the instructions.
So here in terminal, we're going to open up terminal. LX terminal. I'm going to right click. This right click will keep it on top. So I can click anywhere on Firefox. And this here will still stay on top. Okay. So it tells us to do these to do this. So I'm gonna then copy it. I highlighted it and then copy it and I'm gonna paste. Now you see why I wanted to keep it on top. Made it easier. Enter my password. Yes, of course. Install in. Okay. Now we're going to have to do some more stuff in sudo, but I wanted to explain something here. GSK GKSU leaf pad. Here we're actually going to create this here. And what we're doing is we're creating this here down here to put in it. So let's go back to terminal. And let me show you what I mean because another program is going to pop open when we do this. Copy. And the program is called leafpad. Paste. So this is just a command at the same time creating a file called topmenu-gtk.sh so I'm going to enter my password you're going to notice another program that's going to pop up see this is leafpad and it created this file with the file name now all we're going to do is take this information right here. Let me minimize this. This information right here, copy it, and then we're going to put it in this file, and then we're going to save it. And that's all we have to do is save it. I'm going to exit out of it. This here we're done with as well. I'm going to exit out of this. So now it says we have to log out or restart the system. I'm going to log out, which means I'm going to have to stop the recording and then come back. Okay, I'm back. And I rebooted my system I mean logged out and logged back in I didn't restart it so now let's go back and add the applet back to the top menu so go to panel applets we're going to click on add right here and we should see here we are top menu I'm going to add I'm going to now you can see over here it made some space I'm going to move mine all the way over here to the to the left side next to the next to this to the workspace here icons so I'll move it up or desktop desktop page is what it's called okay which means I'm not going to need the window list anymore. Stretch. Let's get rid of the windows list. I want to remove that. 
but I'm going to add something else instead. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, okay, I know what I did before in the past. Okay, one. I don't stretch it anymore. Two, in the preferences, I change it. I get rid of... Oh, I get rid of that. We'll show for desktop, splash, blah, 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 blah. Icons only, that's what I do. Icons only. This will give enough space on the top menu for the text. See, now it's showing leaf pad here, the file. So if I start another program, let's start PC Man. Okay. So I click here, a leaf pad. It shows leaf pad over here. I click here on the file manager, so it shows PC Man file manager in the menu bar up here. And of course the icons over here, I can switch back and forth either way. So, there's top menu with Ubuntu. Oh, okay dokie. Clock, top menu, top, the clock, top menu, okay, well, have a nice day.